President John F. Kennedy had campaigned on a platform of civil rights and support for the space program. Seeing the huge upside of recruiting a black astronaut, the White House gives the Pentagon an order. The Air Force responds fast. There's a young black pilot ready to start training. Captain Edward Dwight Jr. with a top aeronautics degree and 2,000 flying hours under his belt. I did not dream that I was gonna become the first black astronaut. That never entered my mind because that was a big obstacle standing in my way. And I knew that was gonna be a racial component to that obstacle, but I didn't know it was gonna be as sophisticated and as determined as it was. In charge of training pilots to recommend to NASA's astronaut program is U.S. Air Force flying ace, Captain Chuck Yeager, the first man to break the sound barrier. But Yeager is skeptical about integrating the program and says so years later in a memoir. He was totally shocked that the Air Force power structure would force this to happen, not consult him, and not bring him into the loop and prepare for my coming down there. August 1962. The Air Force announces Dwight is to start phase one of the training, a set of grueling physical tests. The first phase is the academic qualifications, the flying record qualifications, and then the physical tests. They really take these men to their physical limits to see how they function in a centrifuge and how much stress they can take. And he passes that. The next phase is the flying phase. Learning how to do maneuvers, and these men are tremendously competitive. Dwight graduates in October 63, eighth out of 16 in his class. He's recommended to NASA, along with 26 other candidates from around the country. Now it's up to the space agency to make its selection. Was there a Negro boy in the last 30 or so that you brought here? for consideration? Uh, no, there was not. Dwight claims Jaeger was biased against him. He called all the instructors in, guys that were going to instruct me in test pilot school, and he announced to these people, if he graduates, Kennedy wants to turn the space program into a black space program. We don't know if Chuck Yeager derailed Ed White's career, and historians have searched for evidence and haven't found it. Are you now, in fact, completely out of the astronaut program? Is there a possibility of you ever being back in? I don't know. I don't have any idea. You know, with what's happened to you, uh, is it a setback for civil rights opportunities? No, I would rather not comment on that. But had I succeeded, they wouldn't have no more excuses about how ignorant black people were, how they couldn't learn, how they couldn't accomplish. I was in the right place at the wrong time. 